So at the moment, I have placed the fabric on top of the head. Uh, I also did a bit of my sewing there, as you can see. And at the minute, uh, I actually ran out of glue sticks, the right ones for the glue gun. So I'm having to use my soldering iron and then melt down the other glue sticks I have, which were way too big, and so I'm just using those. But at the minute, I'm just cutting the holes there for the eyes and everything. And the, the nose can come off, but it'll be glued down soon. And yeah. Um, yeah, I think with that head there, I think I might turn that into like the Freddy torture device from the movie. So I'll have to make it old and de-age with like green paint and stuff. So I might do a time lapse of that one day as well. So, yeah. About the minute, I'm just gonna tidy this up a bit. Uh, don't mind about all these parts here because it'll be covered by the snout. Uh, this is it on the inside. We have some connectors and everything on, some servo motor, servo motor housings as well. Bits where like the ears can go on to. Yeah, hopefully I can actually do some of the animatronic parts tonight. Probably not with the arm though, because that'll take a while to get some more parts and everything for. But I'll be happy if I can get the head done as well with uh, the endo head down here as well. And at least try and get the eye fixed if I can. Oops. But yeah. I'll sort that out and I'll be back in a sec. So now after sorting out the head, I've also attached the snout onto there and also the eyebrows. But at the minute the nose is still detachable. Okay, okay, okay. Um So yeah, that's kinda it at the moment. And it's a lot more lightweight compared to the last head I made. Uh, still need to sort the back here. It, that's the only thing, is like the connection to the back part and the front part does not look nice, so I think in future ones I'm gonna have it a bit differently. Not sure how, but I'll think of something. 